right guys, as you can see, I got my plate of wings and the smell, the aroma is intoxicating. Uh, that typical buffalo style chicken wings is permeating my nose cavity. Let's give it a shot first. I'm gonna stop talking. Wow. Mmm. And it was the buffalo style, medium style wings was the original recipe. And after that, they started getting into the suicide and hot wings. But that is that perfect flavor of um, buffalo style sauce on those wings. Let's try it in the traditional blue cheese. Oh my goodness. Deep fried bacon. Can it get any better? Oh my gosh. I had no idea it was gonna look like that. That is insane. Oh, let's go in for a close-up. Okay, people, we're going in for the extreme close-up of this monstrosity called the bacon wrap deep fried poutine. Check out that bacon. So it's a regular poutine, which is cheese curds, french fries, gravy, all wrapped like a burrito in a tortilla, and then somehow stuck with tons of bacon. That looks like one, two, three, four, five, six strips of bacon, and I'm gonna be eating that. Oh my goodness. Call a paramedic. I've been waiting all week for this. Here we go. Mm. Oh no, don't drop any. Don't drop any. Wow. So lobster season is in June, and all the lobsters they can catch in June, uh, you either eat it fresh, or then they store it in uh, lobster pools, and then they can serve it all year long or until they run out. So this is one of those lobsters. I'm gonna go in for another bite. Oh, scratch it, sniff it. The rest is mine. Mmm. That is fantastic. Quite a bit of lobster. The bun is overpowering the lobster a little bit because it's such a big bun. I'm gonna try and peel this off a little bit. Let's see how much lobster we got inside there. Oh wow, as you can see, I ordered the Outlaw Ribeye, the 18 ounce steak. I ordered mine medium rare with the side of asparagus. They brought me a salad. I didn't know they were gonna bring me a salad. And they also brought me like this half a loaf of bread with butter. And I also ordered a Yingling beer large of course uh, cut into that steak and uh, along the edges was cooked pretty much exactly the way I like it uh, just a little red not bleeding and as you can see by the expression on my face as I bite into that piece of meat it was absolutely awesome it was cooked just to perfection just the way I like it whoa just dripping there all right, guys, it's time to polish this off just for you. So hang on. So let's dig in. And this is our first time ever having Moose Burgers. Let us know in the comments below if you've had. I got mine at Pickles he didn't, by the way. Canadian Moose Burgers. Are you ready? Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Is, I'm hoping this is going to be amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's sliding out all over the Cheers place. Cheers to losing our, our Moose Virginity. <laughs> moose Virginity. Tastes like beef a bit, a lot, but it's better. I like that better than a normal burger, actually. Wow. Even with pickles. Mm. Even with pickles. I don't I, like pickles on anything. I would, I would actually love to try that with nothing on it. Just to, just to try the meat itself, by, all by itself, and nothing yeah. else on it. Maybe put a slice of cheese and a couple slices yeah. of like applewood smoked bacon. That would be absolutely, really good. that would, oh my gosh. Let's go for another bite. Okay guys, we are done. Ben, be my guest, you can rate it first. I was like, go out and get it now. That's probably one of the best go out and get it now's I've given so far, actually. Really? It's like, not only is it go out and get it now, yeah, but it's a go like, and get it now plus? That's a go out and get it now premium. I already predict this will probably be the best McDonald's meal I've ever had. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can hold this thing. Ooh la la. Wow. Come on, guys. That has got to be the coolest looking hamburger you have ever seen from McDonald's. And it's all mine. Want to try to scratch it? Want to try to sniff it? Try. Try. You're missing it. Scratch. 
Sniff. The rest is mine. Holy cow. I'm going to move this out. Oh, it's going to fall. The box is in my way, so I'm going to put some napkins down and use that as my table. All right, guys, we're going in for a first bite of create your own taste. Can you see it? Nice. Here we go. Wow. Juicy. The aioli is fantastic. The beef is amazing. The toppings I chose were perfect. Oh my gosh, check it out one more time. Okay guys, there's your extreme close-up. I added lettuce at the bar. I added a tomato. It's got two strips of crispy bacon, it looks like. We got an egg, we got cheese, and we got the one-third pound burger. And there's my chocolate milkshake, it's melting. I gotta eat fast. All right guys, let's get into this right away because that egg is just dripping. I'm making it drip on my fries just for that added flavor. I don't want to waste anything. Here we go. Mmm, it smells good. Mmm. I've got everything in that bite. Milkshake's done, fries, burger. All right, on my rating scale, guys, I'm going to give the hangover at Fuddruckers a go out and get it now. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh boy, starting to build. Oh boy. Wow. That is getting hotter and hotter and hotter the longer it just sits. It, <laughs> dudes and, and dudettes, you're not gonna believe this, but it tasted good with the pickle on it. I'm not kidding. I hate pickles, but it tasted good. I'm, I'm digging out <laughs> the garbage pickle and we're gonna put it right back on there. A lot of you guys are gonna be blown out of the water. Ken Domic eating pickles and chicken. It goes good together. I ordered my favorite three rolls at this location, which was the Bubba Gump roll, the Rainbow roll, and the Innisfil roll. I started off with the Rainbow roll, which was a California roll with three kinds of raw fish and avocado. The second one I tried out here is the Bubba Gump roll, which is shrimp tempura with cream cheese, avocado, and sushi sauce. And as you can see by the expression on my face, I am in absolute heaven. And now for my third roll, which is shrimp tempura, cucumber inside, uh, stuff that they put on there called crunch with spicy mayo and sushi sauce. And this again is one of my favorite rolls of all time. Okay, well, this looks like amazing uh, deep fried chicken. Let's dig, dig into that thigh. Let's get in some of the waffle. Oh boy. All right, we got some deep fried chicken, some waffle, sauce, and syrup. Let's do it. Mmm. That chicken is fantastic. The hot sauce, that's weird. Hot sauce, syrup, chicken, waffle. That doesn't make sense at all, but it is working amazing. I'm gonna make sure I get some skin this time. So we got some breading and skin. Oh boy, look at this bite, people. I need to hold it on with my little floppy knife that they gave me. Here we go. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna drip. Scratch it, sniff it. <laughs> the rest is mine. Thanks, Anthony. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. <laughs>